What is up everyone? Last video you saw, we got the six pack from Paint. We put it together and it looks absolutely stunning. Stunning is the word. Like everyone Phenomenal. that walks in here, it's just like, you just stare and you're like. Still plenty of work to do. We still have to do all the trim, all the glass, we have to get all the trim painted. We got a fresh set of wheels for it. I got to finish building those up and we can get it all together for like the final. This isn't its final form. Like this, if you're ooh -ah now, just you wait. So we're gonna say that for next week once we get everything painted. But for now, it's a week of body kits. So it, so, <laughs> so it feels like that, right? So don't look at this yet. Earlier in the week, we got the wide, but we got the Street Hunter wide body kit for the FRS. We got that all mocked up on there and everything good to go. The trunk just came in. We, I'm dying to see the trunk, but we're gonna continue on the theme and we have another massive box of body panels right here. So this should be all of the aero for the pro car. This should be all the pieces to actually make it look like a car. Cause as of right now, it just looks like <laughs> nothing. Some strut towers and like a, a roof, right? But what's important about that is you guys get to figure out what we picked, right? Because right now there's three different options. We could have went Zanke, which is early model S14. We could have went Kuki or Koki, whatever you want to call it. Uh, late model S14, or we could have done a 14.9 did S15 front, S15 rear, right? Or hosh pass of the pieces of it. We talked about it. But today you guys get to see what we chose. So, Smoon, you ready to open some more boxes? No? Come on, this is exciting! This is good, I mean, <laughs> more fiberglass, but let's get to it. Let's open this thing up. Wow, there's a lot shoved in here. We're expecting a lot. I'm actually very, oh yes, the hood's in here. Dude, there's a lot of arrow in this box. I'm very impressed that they fit it in here. Oh, easy. First thing on the list, skirts. Get them out of there. You got that? Big old aggressive hulus on here. You like that? We're just gonna get right after it and let the whole thing come out. I don't know how they package this this well. <laughs> RJ, we might need some hands here, About buddy. to let down the drawbridge. Dude, we have like literally every <laughs> single body panel. Here. Oh God. Everything but a roof. Like literally. Be gentle, it's meant to take a hit. Yeah, you're gonna be pissed when you gotta fix yeah, it. once. All right, RJ, just start. Oh my god. I wonder what we went with for Aero. So guys, we went with 2F, 2F performance. When I was reaching around trying to figure out what Aero to go with my pro car, everyone suggested 2F. Not only do they make every panel for this car, but they make a full clamshell rear for this thing. Not only for the S14, for multiple other chassis. They make the hood, the skirts, everything. It was a one-stop shop. Pleasantly sold on the quality of the product. I heard the fiberglass is very flexible, fits well, easy to work with. And honestly, that's all we could really ask for when it comes to fiberglass, right? Wow, we literally got, dude, we have doors, we have a hood, bumpers, clamp. Jeez, how did it fit that all in that box? This is literally a whole car. It's an entire, I'm telling you, it's the oh, entire. This goes away, it's, it's pretty obvious what the car is right now. It's all right. Full. Okay, you, you can see if you guys know S, the S chassis, you know that's a, what, what is that, Spoon? S, S14 rear, so we didn't go with the 15 rear. What, you said you wanted 14 rear. I want a 14.5. Could never make them happy. I hate 14 <laughs> Literally an entire fiberglass back half. So the clamshell is basically the back half of the car. If you come here, guys, you saw, well, we cut it all off, right? So we need something to go there. We're not gonna put metal back on it. Not only is it flexible, but it's light and it's easy to work with and it's easy to replace, right? Which is when you're building a car to, you know, we're gonna say built to crash, it's not like we wanna crash these things, but it's just- It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. I mean, if, if you're not put, like, my goal is to push myself, right? And I'm not pushing myself, well, things happen. So, of course, getting something that we could replace quickly, something that could take a good hit and get repaired, and something that obviously takes weight off the chassis, it's just a win-win, so, clamshell. I mean, it's big, but it's not aggressive. It's not too bad, it's nice and subtle, right? The kit is made by 2F, but the style of the kit is called Super Doof. It's very iconic. Um, Super Doof is ran on many pro cards. I'm pretty sure Wang is on Super Doof. Dean is Super Doof, Stooky Super Doof. My boy Derek Madison's on Super Doof, but he has the M-Spec kit, which is like carbon, because Derek's fancy and whatever, Derek. Whatever, good. Derek. There's a lot of pro cards Super Doof. The kit has a lot of different energies, depending on how you, of course, with your wheel fitment, and well, your livery. And well, let's check out the hood. It's actually like a really nice hood. It's way nicer than I thought. It's durable, but it's flexible, and it actually is like really smooth. Like it's very impressive. It's not all wavy. Hoods always get wavy. If the hood doesn't give it away, dun 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 dun. What front end are we doing, Austin? The best one of them all. Koki. Koki. 
kooky cokey, whatever you guys want to call it. So we're going full S14, right? I was going to do like the 14.5, 14.9. I couldn't decide. I was like, you know what? For this season, let's just own it. Let's just own the kooky look. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. The next season, if we want to switch to an S15 when we refresh the car, it's as easy as replacing the body panels, which we're probably going to replace at the end of the season anyways, and it kind of refreshes it for the season. Leave room for, leave room for change. Let's enjoy the S14 thing, and then we could do the spicy stuff later on. I said this the other day. I love being the filmer. <laughs> That's gotta go higher. Safe. Old Garage Damage Prevention Team at it again. We're gonna mock everything up today. It's a little premature for mocking, but if we get the clamshell on in the rear and we can get most of the front end mocked up, we will now know our limitations for when we make our box rear and when we make our two front, right? Let's flip this thing on and see how she fits. Not bad. Look at that. Just like that, it's an S14 again. Now this lets us see how much room we actually have to work with, right? So we're gonna make our our box rear, and then of course we're gonna make our tubes that fit around the bumper all oh, nice, make sure the radiator all fits. It'll all come to fruition. Point of no return. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Crossed that bridge a long time ago. So if you guys saw these in the Street Hunter wide body video, uh, these things are tempervis. They're called Clicos, right? So this is allow us to basically mimic the rivet, but it's also removable when you, you have the pliers because it's body's way. <laughs> Definitely need it if you're trying to mock up panels for the first time. If you don't have it, so this kit was off of Amazon. Was on Amazon? Yeah. You could use small self tappers too if you want. Wouldn't suggest it though. And we're pretty lucky since the kit fits so good, it kind of falls right in the place, right? This little pocket right here kind of centers the whole rear. And so we use this as our kind of our base. All right, some good old fashioned eBay kooky tails, D Max style tail. I'm not putting OEM tails in this thing. Way too expensive. The rear is going to be in to the wall. Tastefully. 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 See why people do S uh, like S14.5 and do S15 rear? Because the S15 rear taillights, like Edmark ones, are. I think even cheaper at this point. That's it's surprising. And they're, well, they made so many in Japan, right? And instead of it being three pieces like this, we have two sides and a center garnish. It's just two taillights. So that's a little enticing for next season. Also, do you remember in Ireland how all the guys had like fake taillights where it was a piece of fiberglass with just like a sticker that looked like a real taillight? Yeah. Are you saying he doesn't have headlights? Race cars don't need headlights because the track is always lit. That, uh, I'm definitely not opposed to that, but we have to mock it up. The first time we put the car together, we have to like actually make it look nice, make it look nice and then we'll get some fiberglass fake taillights in there. Not bad for eBay taillights in fiberglass, huh? Usually that's a dangerous recipe, but this lines up pretty good. All right, let's pull this thing up. Pop the trunk. Pop the trunk. You don't gotta be gentle. Get after it. Put it on? Yeah, put it on. Let's go. Now this thing is definitely not meant to have factory hinges and stuff. It's meant to be pinned on, so. Pinned on? Oh, just with like those little things? Yeah. You wanna use some Zeus fasteners? Go back to your drag, drag racing. It's way too soon to say what color we uh, to even know I what color we're doing. I haven't even decided yeah, yet. I haven't even thought of it. That one's stressing me. You know how long it took me to pick the A6 color? Yeah. Well, we had, to be totally honest, we had said green from the beginning. From the very yeah, beginning. Well, I was no, torn, no, no, I was the, torn between the a burgundy and a green, remember? Forever. I remember we went to SEMA and there was a martini green that we saw that we liked and I, we had brought it back and then I'm glad we went green. <clears throat> Nice too because the clamshell has the over fender actually already built into it, so we don't have to then put over fenders on the car too. So, all in one, baby. Well, this all fits together beautifully. Like I cannot complain about this, especially for 
a race car. Um, but the trunk, since the pins that mount it will support it, it's gonna be a little flimsy looking, but once you have it in place, it fits really good. My S14 rear ends could look a little wimpy looking sometimes, especially when you have a big aggressive front, but I think this rear bumper actually does a really good job making the rear end look bigger and more aggressive without it looking unbalanced, right? Like I think the roundness of the lip actually matches the top of the trunk and everything. Now S14s are tricky in the rear. They usually look very like, I don't know, but usually it looks whack on the S14. Major piece of the puzzle is the doors. The doors are huge because as you guys saw when we weighed the stock door, it was like 70 pounds. So we cut it up and we brought it down to like, what did it get to, like 25 pounds once we cut the door up? We got the stock doors, the metal doors, and we just cut them all the way up. Yeah. He copied us and cut it the same. <laughs> See? We are good thinking. And beyond anything, S chassis doors. They're getting hard to find, so being able to get a fiberglass replacement is a huge win. And I'm pretty sure two have to go in that does it, so very happy we have these things. We got some backup metal ones just in case. I love that the belt molding is built in too. It's nice. And of course, like probably the most important spot is the door line. And it matches the arch perfectly. What it tells me is obviously the initial quality of the glass itself and then the fitment, right? Those are the two things that people complain about. Mm. Glass quality, great. Fitment, so far, great. So, happy so far. Wing, bada, bada, bada. Oh. <laughs> Just snap it I mean, these things are like, you know? So when Adam decides to like, we're good. <laughs> this, this is the truth. Find out how good this thing actually fits. <laughs> yeah, right? There is a lot of room for air in the front fenders. So if you guys remember a long time ago, we talked about how when you heat up fiberglass, it gets actually pretty malleable. So when these things sit around for a while and in boxes, they deform just a little bit. So a little bit of heat should help this move quite a bit. Not too shabby, huh? It's funny seeing it as a... Uh, yeah, an S14 again. See, his snaps are way better. Mine are like... <laughs> now time for these big juicy skirts to bring together, because right now it, it looks quite unbalanced, doesn't it? Skirts always bring cars together, so let's see how she fits. Anthony, what do you think? More fiberglass. It never ends. It never ends. She's sexy. Any body panel? Hmm. Look at that. Be careful there. Race car. No way. <laughs> Look at this whole thing it is. <laughs> so clearly there's no support for this entire front end and well, that's because we have to make it, right? So having the whole kit is very, very important to making sure we get this tube front end all fitted right. The bash bar will hold the bumper. The bash bar will hold the bumper and we'll make little brackets for the headlights, but we're gonna keep the front end very, very simple. So if we have to re remake it, it's easy. Pinch oh, clamps. Bench clamps. That's See, sick. Amazon baby. Can't be that. Oh, I just found ones with longer jaws. That's sick. Now the S14 rear might not be the coolest, but the S14 Koki front is definitely pretty sick. Come on, look look at it. It looks just so like aggressive and ominous, doesn't it? Like I think it's the best looking front. It's like S15 is hard, but it's also aggressive, but it's more classy. Like this one's more more handsome. Muy, muy guapo. Mas, mas guapo, right? Uh, Bayako. To go with some eBay taillights, we got some good old fashioned eBay headlights. Are these the headlights? I think they are. Yeah, see those aren't bad at all. The black housing is actually pretty cool. That's a yeah, nice piece that's for it. That's actually a nice headlight. For eBay, not bad, bro. We'll make some better brackets for this because it's just fiberglass, but... There we go. You like the ingenuity there? <laughs> <laughs> Rolled them up. We got it. Brian's here for the final touch. What? what? No, no, I gotta go back to work. No, stay five minutes. I want you to see this. So I had oh. an OEM grill. It's just really 
dirty and <laughs> gross, but I had it for many years. Which Look helps, through the dust. It looks great. Yeah, it helped us position the front, but for having the front end mock together, I'm very, very impressed with it. It's, we got to line up pretty damn good. It looks mean. I know, Kooky's so good. Look at yeah, this. I was gonna say, this was a this was a Zanky, wasn't it? People hate on Zanky, like Zankies are great, this, but like, Zanky. they're they don't look aggressive at all compared to like a Kooky. Let's put the hood on and see this thing looking all, you know, sick and whatnot. Hood doesn't, it's just a skin, so it actually doesn't come with the, uh, the mounting points on it, unfortunately, uh, but we're gonna probably cut those off our OE hood and mold them on, just so we don't have to take the whole entire hood off every time we wanna work on the car, so. For now, damn, that looks sick. Oh, this is tight fit. I mean, we didn't even adjust the fenders yet, and it already lines up. standing mile. This is awesome. For just like literally no mounting tabs or no anything. mounting tabs. Literally just like first mock. It already like if it fit like that already painted, I wouldn't even be mad about it. After click, comes with the on. belt holding on it. How cool That's is crazy. That? That's good. Oh no like shit. That. But the fact that this all like lines up this good out the wrapper like this, I cannot be mad about it. Like if we literally just D8 and sprayed it right now, I wouldn't even be upset. You having fun there, bro? <laughs> yeah, I wish the roof was primered so it could just all look one color. The thing that's gonna bring it all together is it needs it needs a good spoiler, right? Because the front end is so aggressive and in the rear, it just kind of like, it's just there. It big needs... GT wing. You wanna do a big GT wing on this car? If you want an excuse to put a big GT wing on something, this is the excuse. Not no low mount, sleek, <laughs> origin <laughs> fucking wing. Big ass hole in this shit and yeah. glue it to the chassis. Exactly. That's what I deal with every day. And I'm down for big, I mean, James' car is great. I love James' car with the big wing. I think it's a good, oh, it's a good look. It's a good look. Yeah, the wing, the wing does a lot for these cars. If you have an S14, you gotta put a wing on it. I'm impressed that all came in that box. I, I don't know how it all fit in that box. <laughs> that was wild. The boys know what they're doing. All right, well, now a bunch of work to actually make it mount. Early. We're here. <laughs> Look at you. We've been here. Don't talk to me until I have my coffee. <laughs> Don't talk to me until I have my coffee. Deeds, third video in a row of mocking up bumpers and stuff. What do you think? Week of body kits. Juicy, right? James, everything is getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the cars are getting <laughs> just growing. Just growing. Girth. It fits pretty good too. Huh? Look at the front end. We just mocked it up. What are these, 100 mil over? No, it's 75s. Oh, and then 55 in the rear, I believe. Wednesday air jacks coming. Yeah, shut up. Five <laughs> <laughs> in the door. What do you no. mean, it's right there. You cut the metal one, though. Kick, give it a kick. Kick it? <laughs> oh, is that hard? <laughs> <laughs> what do you kick it? <laughs> oh, is this the stuff you go like run over? No, no, no. no. Oh, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's like, it's. That's it. See? Oh, so when a tire hits the door, you still have a door. Yeah, right. right? You hopefully, know that's the goal. We get the NASCAR door bars in there, so it flexes, and then they hit your cage. It's like get out of here. But hopefully, they spin and you win. Yeah. I really thought it was S15 jeans. You thought it was S15? Yeah. Yeah, my bad. It's know. still cool. Yeah. I, I wanted to do this, the kooky thing, and then like if we if we get sick of it next season. When we refresh all the arrow, you just get S15 arrow at the mm -hmm. same time, you know? If you go S15 first, you're not gonna go back. Yeah, and then you don't have anything to look forward to. This is, you just got another clamshell and another front end. All right, we got this thing tucked back in place now, and look how cool it looks lowered. It makes the kit look so much more aggressive, doesn't it? This is a good looking kit. Dude, it looks way cooler than I, I thought, and I've seen many cars with this kit on it. Kooky front end, I'm not mad about it, I love it. S15 rear still would've been cool, but I want to leave some room for growth. I'm happy with it. All the fiberglass fit amazing. And uh, it's a good mid-build motivation, right? We've been talking about it. It's good, it's true. It's probably not the perfect time to do all this. It doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? We like we could do the whole tube front now, which is awesome. Obviously now we have the limitations for the doors for the cage. Jimmy, what's next? What's next? What's next? Well, there's a lot next, right? right? We have a bare shell. Essentially we have everything. The motor will be done at the end of the month, which is huge. We have the trans, we have the clutch, we have the bell housing adapter. We have all of that. So once the engine's done, we can start mocking it up, making the mounts and seeing it in the engine bay, which is huge. On top of that, of course, you guys saw, we got our cage kit cage in. It might just look like a pile of tubes here, but these are all pre-bent, marked, everything ready to weld into the car for a beautifully fitting, tight 
up to regulation cage, right? That's all we do. <laughs> so a lot of fab work to be had, but we are in the right direction. So, uh, we have the almost everything for the suspension other than the coilovers, which should be here in like two weeks, which is huge. So we can make it a roller, which is a big step. And we have the full cooling system, thanks to Phoenix. Radiator to intercooler to oil cooler to power steering coolers, we have it all. All the expensive stuff is bought. Yeah, we said that we had a bunch of parts coming in and they're finally starting to they're stack finally up. Finally starting to show up. So this is huge. Like the fact that the, the engine's paid for, oh my God. <laughs> Weight off your shoulders. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> amazing. Like most of the expenses I was paid for, now it's just, well, a lot of sweat equity on this one. So I'm excited for it. I'm trying not to let this build trust out because the last thing I want is a typical pro car recipe where you want to build a pro car. So you build a pro car, you stress yourself out, you throw yourself out so thin that you end up hating the car and you can only afford doing drift car stuff this season. You get so stressed out, you hate drifting. And it's like this like in, intrinsic cycle of bullshit that we've seen a million times. So I'm trying to like not fall on that this year. Steve, anything else you want to add here? Eat vegetables. They're good for you. Very proud of you. Oh, have a good weekend. Sorry for eating my mouth open, but hopefully Steph doesn't go to labor this weekend. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Time we see you, he'll really be a dad. Now we got one more video. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Yeah, one more video. One more video. Sorry, no, that'll be a dad. False statement. Eat your vegetables. Got it. So of course, guys, check out 2F. They make uh, components for E30, E46, E92, all the S chassis, LS400. They have a clamshell for which is crazy whatever Jed Mustang that is, because I don't know Mustangs. S197. S197, I know Mustangs. And <laughs> Corvettes. So of course, guys, check out. Beautiful arrow. Can't be a clamshell. But for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly. Savage is awarded.